Okay kids, here's your homeroom for the week of October 30th. I can't wait. Let's get started. So, what will you dress up for Halloween? Don't care. Want some trivia? How much money do Americans spend on Halloween candy each year? 2.3 billion dollars. Wow. How many can pounds of candy do we all eat? 600 million pounds. <laughs> Yay. Isn't that awesome? Okay, let's get to the serious stuff. Announcements. November 6th and 7th is the CASI, the California High School Exit Exam. These are the makeups for 11th and 12th graders who have not passed them. Why you take them before you're in 12th grade? I have no idea. It's supposed to be an exit exam, but welcome to California education. November 12th is Veterans Day, so we have no school. November 19th to 23rd is Thanksgiving break. Awesome! Let's talk about K-12 and Kava. K-12 is the company that provides us with all the content and the websites and all that good stuff. And they also have sort of a little community here. They organize a lot of meetups. So if you go to www k12start.com you'll be able to go find out what sorts of meetups they have. They have lots of clubs and things all over the place. Okay. Calling all parents. Kava close-ups are back. Kava close-ups are casual events open to all families and staff. This is an opportunity for learning coaches to join us for a close-up look at how our families connect in their local communities and to be and to hear firsthand what it means to be part of our school community meet local kava teachers and make meaningful connections with other kava families that are on the same adventure as you visit www.k12.com slash kava to find a location near you and red ribbon week is october 23rd to october 30th Join K-12 families across the state for a virtual celebration of Red Ribbon Week. Join us for a virtual spirit week that involves dress-up days, a poster contest, and an assembly. Oh, boy. Scandron! Every 9th to 11th grade student needs to complete both the math and reading Scantron tests. These were supposed to be completed by the end of your first week of school, so please complete them this week if you have not already finished both of them. Ask me, your homeroom teacher, if you're not sure if you have completed them. I've sent you all K-mails letting you know what we need from you, so look for those. Look for Scantron in your K-mails. Shining up your grades! Have you worked daily in your classes but are still not happy with your grades? Worked hard on a couple of classes but left out a few others? Fallen behind in school and now have lots of missing assignments? Then let's shine up those grades, my friends. Getting organized. Use your grade book and checklist to determine what assignments you are missing or which ones you scored the lowest on. Record these assignments in a task sheet. Contact your teachers if you need... Help making up an assignment to find out if you are allowed to redo assignments for a better score. To know what support session recording will help you complete a missing assignment. I'm sending you a task sheet that looks like this one. Use this if you want to to help keep track of all the things you can do to raise that little grade of yours. Remember, you've got to use your grade book. That's the button in the upper right hand corner of all of your courses. Look for missing assignments. Anything with a zero or dashes. Those are missing. Look for tests and teacher graded assignments such as labs with very low scores. Make sure you understand that material and ask your teacher for help with tough topi topics. Ask your teacher if there is anything you can do to bring up your grade. And look in your Dropbox inbox for comments from your teacher about missing or incomplete assignments. Where can you see the due dates? Well, this isn't in every single class, but in a lot of them you can go to the course checklist located at the bottom of the course homepage. This is very important. That's a checklist where you can 
check off whether you've done something or not. And many teachers have placed the due dates there, so you can see when your assignments are due, although they're also in the calendar. So let's say you need to find your teacher's contact information. Where would you go? Click on that Home tab and click on Teacher Contact Information. How to leave a phone message for your teacher. Clearly state your name, state which course you were in, and the section number. You'll find the section number at the top right hand corner of the screen, right up here. State the reason for your call, and clearly, clearly state your phone number with area code. Also let us know the best time to reach you. An example would be, hello Mrs. Smith, my name is Steve Student and I am in LAC 1, Section 10. I am calling because I need help with my essay. Can you reach me at 555-111-1111 and the best time to reach me is 5 p.m. Thank you and have a nice day. Actually, essay is a little too vague for me, kids. I'd rather know which essay are you talking about. That's going to help me out a lot more. All right, where to find the teacher K-mail addresses? You just click on your course under the uh, K-12 website, and then you'll see the primary teacher listed there. You click on that. That's your teacher's K-mail. How do I request makeup work from my teacher? Send a polite K-mail to your teacher. Here's a good example. Hello, Mrs. Smith. My name is Joe Student, and I am in Section 70 of your LAC1 English class. I am aware my grade is not passing up, and I would like to know which assignments I can make up. I would appreciate any help you can offer me at this time. I want to do well, and good Lord, students, that's a lot. Ah, uh, just say, hey, this is Joe Student from Section 70 of English. Can I make up this? Can I redo that? No need to be so wordy. Here's a bad email request. Hello, teacher lady. Yeah, um, I don't know what to do. Why do I have enough in all my classes? Oh, I'm a student. Get back to me ASAP. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Thanksgiving break provides an ideal time to get caught up. Contact all your teachers before Thanksgiving break if you are not passing the class or you want to improve your grade. Make a list of all missing assignments. Set a schedule and stick to it. Complete all makeup work during the break and wait to see your grades go up when school is back in session, my friends. Here's a sample makeup work schedule that you can make. Monday, watch all the missing weekly starters. Make up all quizzes and tests. Work on essays, you get the point. Pause this video and look over this thing if you want to. So let me leave you with this one last message. Get your grades to where you want them to be now so that you are not struggling at the last minute to bring them up. Well, I think that's just about it for this homeroom session. I hope you enjoy having it in this video format. And if you have any questions, remember you can contact me through KML or through my phone number. Adios, muchachos.